Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, apologies, there was no video yesterday. I was actually at the UK Games Expo for our... It was supposed to be set 2 regional, but it actually turned out to be set 1. Um, so, we didn't actually manage to get a lot of recorded games in last week. So, hopefully we'll be back to a daily schedule. Um, today we're going to bring you Top Coup. I think tomorrow I'm probably going to try and bring maybe another Zamasu deck list. Or maybe Blue Vegeta or something like that. Because... The Zamasu list, um, we did get a, a victory on that one. It actually felt really good. So I might try and bring out, um, might try and bring out Blue Vegeta and see if we can edit our deck from where it was before. Uh, yeah, I suppose we keep this. Um, try and edit it. See if we can get it to a place where we wanted to. Um, I need to actually adjust this Topku list. Um, there is a new version of this list. I kind of want to try. Um, I think we can just charge this. Honestly, it's not that great in the green. And then we'll just play the Basil. Uh, okay, so we've got rid of one super, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. And we have a Kefla, but honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing multiple, so we'll, we'll keep that one. Um, and then we can just pass here. We've got a hit for the next turn. Unfortunately, we didn't get a set one. A set one, sorry. A turn one self awakener, but it is what it is. I haven't played this match yet. So we'll see how we go into Cell. I think, honestly, I just play the... Um... Yeah, I think we just play the Cauliflower here. I'd rather play the Cauliflower over the, um, the hit, just because he doesn't have a one-drop. So there's no reason not to. We'll swing for the critical. We'll see if he takes, which he does. And there's a Roshi, of course. Okay, well, next turn we have access to Hit and Roshi if we want. So it's not awful. Um, I'm going to apologise, by the way, because I am kind of... My throat's quite sore from uh, from the weekend, so... There might be a few uh, breaks just so I can get a drink quickly. <laughs> um, there's the kill one drop. Okay, so we're definitely playing hit first, and we're going to have to attack with hit first. Um, kind of sucks that he managed to kill that. We have three of these. We're just going to defend it. Okay, so now we don't need to play the hit, now that you got rid of that card. Or at least we don't need to do it for that effect. Okay, so we've got two Roshis now as well. I kind of want to play this because we really need to see our, um, our four energy Kefla. So maybe, yeah, we'll see. We'll charge that one for now anyway. We'll go for the critical again. Yeah, he's going to ramp on four. Meaning that he's going to go to 5 and then he'll have his lead skill available, which will jump him up to 6. Still doable. I think that's still alright. Well, there's a 4-drop Kefla, so that's good. Okay. Just play hit as well. Mm. Do we go up to 30 here? Potentially look to put him down to 3? No, I think... My way is, I'm thinking about his ramp, right? There's no easy way to kill the one drop without using one energy either way, so I think we just leave this at 20. We could have put that to 30 and honestly pushed him down. Um, I don't think I need to, though. Um, I don't think I need to. I do love this alt leader. Such a beautiful leader. The purple and the yellow and that just works really well. And we can just pass here. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so he's got a 20k attacker. 
I'm assuming he's going to discard to pop one of these and then attack into the other. So we're going to four energy. We theoretically could do quite a lot. Um, even if we let him clear the board here, it's not the worst. Perhaps. Yeah, I'll let the hit die. I'm assuming he's going to discard for the video. He'll probably attack and then... Yeah, okay, never mind. Well, that's annoying. Still, we can still do the uh, Cauliflower 2 drop. Mm. Yeah, we probably should have went to 30k on that attack on the hit. That was a mistake. Do we defend this? we go 25 here? Uh, it's a tough one. Yeah, I'm fine with letting this die. Okay, um, charge targets wise it's getting kind of annoying to be honest, um, let's have a look here, what are we going to do charge wise, do we just Basil? Basil would still be good because we do need to dig for a few universe cards, um, I need her, we need this still, I think we just have to charge the Basil honestly, it kind of sucks but, yeah we'll do that. That's not great either. So what, we're going to flip first. We'll see what we draw now. Okay, so it's the androids. Not great again. We'll take the lead. Um, we've got a couple of shots at going at his, his battle card if we need it. Honestly, I'm tempted to just ignore this though. We'll discard Goku, I think. Mm. Yeah, Goku's probably the right choice here. Draw into a Basil, which is actually quite good for us because we can play that now as well. Okay. We have a Rebrian and we have a Glimpse as well, which is decent. Yeah, she lets that die. Kind of expected that, to be honest. And then we just poke here. What I'm gonna do though is on the on this attack, um, we'll do the basil. Okay, that's interesting. We're gonna make this 30k. Yeah, we take the four drop all day long. We have another three drop in hand. So we'll make this one 30. We'll just get a super combo or a couple of cards out of hand from him. Or not. And then we just pass. And we've got a really good hand to defend our board. Because um, I'm not even against using the Kefla into the Android 17 and just swinging for 25k's on him.
if he plays androids this turn, um, he will kill two of our cards, but he's... The lead skill does ramp in active, so we don't really have to worry about that. But I'm imagining he's going to go for the double striker here. There's no point in defending this because I'm almost certain it's an android play coming. So I think we just let this die. It would be good to just get the additional poke in, but honestly I'm not giving him cards in hand. Especially when our hand looks like this. Because we knew that that was coming down. I mean, it's just a super combo, bud. And we can just kind of ignore the androids, honestly. Kind of, I say. Uh, right. I wouldn't mind having this on the board because it means that one super combo and we're out on the leader skill. Uh, on the leaders. If he attacks our leader, sorry, with this. Um, I think we just charge the Capesla, honestly. It is a 10k, but realistically, I don't know what else we charge. Yeah, I think I think we actually just discard this, right? Or do we now discard the hit? Because we can we can actually kill him this turn theoretically. Okay, I'm surprised by that. I'm really surprised by that. Yeah, okay. I was going to say, because he's put himself into two, so we just double strike now, and we go for the hidden glimpse. Um, yeah, we had a lot of combo power there. We probably would have got to about 100k. He played that quite weird, though. Like, I, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he just didn't have any 8-drop in hand or something, but, I mean, I would have likely tried to sell there, you know, the following turn, rather than using the instant Kamamaha to get out of one attack. Again, we don't know what his hand was, but what I'm going to show you is the current list that we're running with. But there are going to be changes made to this, right? Um, I am looking to add in the extra card, which is the U6 Assemble. Um, mainly because in this list, we run a whole lot of the U6 package, right? We've got Hits, we've got Cauliflowers, um, we've got Keflas, we've got the other Keflas. And then you change your Super Combo to Kaba, and then... That's now your package, right? So you can search out your super combos. Um, on top of Basil, it's another way of searching out our Keflas. Um, and it's also a way of searching, you know, hits, cauliflowers. Like, if we have that turn one, the ideal, obviously, turn one situation is you open up with that extra card and you open up with a Roshi. So we just do it for free, basically. Um, but, obviously, sometimes that doesn't always happen. Depending on the matchup, you kind of want Roshi to survive at least an additional turn. Sometimes it's not going to happen, but if he can survive an additional turn, it's great because it means that, you know, we've got essentially two turns worth of where we could do it. Um, so I'm going to build that at some point. That will be coming onto the channel, not next, but it will be the maybe the next red build that I do at some point for Talku. Um, obviously, that was quite a quick match. I think we're only at about 13 minutes in the video, but honestly... I've got a couple more recordings to do instead of just jumping in and doing a second game with Top Coup, um, I think we just leave it here. That's just a good sort of understanding about the build as it is just now. And then once we get to the next version of Top Coup, obviously we'll maybe expand the video a bit if, if, if the game is as quick as that. Um, just to see if we get on. But genuinely, I do think... So just for anybody who doesn't know, the card I'm talking about um, is this card here. So you look at the top five, you reveal one U6 card and its special traits and add it to its hand, right? No energy restriction, so you can search that Kaba super combo and you can search everything that's U6 related in here. And then we have an active battle on our opponent's turn. We can give our leader plus 15, right? Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes I have passed with energy available. Um, just because of the leader skill, you just... Sometimes you just don't need to tap out as red now. And this being a defensive 15k combo is also quite nice. So I do like that. Um, and then the super combo of choice would be... Uh, this, this Kaba here. 
Um, this is the one from set one, um, but it is universe six, so it means that likewise with the U7 assemble card, we could search the Shin super combo. We now have a way to search the Kaba as well. And I still think that it actually worked perfectly in this build because in set one, realistically, the only U6 card you were running was probably hit and off the top of my head, I can't even think of anything else. So unless you changed to the Kaba super combo, there was not any real reason to, but back in set one, your U7 package was always much larger, so it made more sense to run that one. Um, but yeah, for, for this, I think it works fine. Um, the change that we made is we added in a God Kamehameha. You could honestly run this at two um, for this deck, the one that I've got here. Um, this card is so snapped. You know, depending on if you're playing the red mirror, there's a good chance that they're going to, you know, it's just going to be clearing board every turn. And Kamehameha gives you a, a one energy out to a Kefla, which is really strong. Or one energy out to any other threat that you just want to kill on that board. Um, so I do like it for that reason. Um, that's why it's in there. But yeah, there, there is arguments to up that to two for sure. Um, but guys, this is my top two list as it stands just now. Like I said, there will be changes. I don't know what ratios I'm going to have to change and what I'm going to have to cut to fit in that extra card package. Um, we'll have to wait and see. The likelihood is I am going to have to try and drop some zero Ks just because we don't want to be reducing our combo power all that much. Um, so there, there's, we'll, we'll see what happens because we do run a lot of 5Ks, you know, between the Weeses, the Basils, the Hits, the Cauliflowers, and then we've got all these zero Ks as well. So to put in an additional four extra cards, which can only be used as long as we have the energy. So if we tap out, they're dead in hand defensively. Um, yeah, there's there's chances that we may have to change that. But again, we'll see what happens. Um, it's just going to be a case of testing it and see if, if I like it. But I genuinely think that that will be the best way to play Top Coup going forward. Um, just having access to searchable super combos and having multiple ways to search out your Keflas is going to be huge. So... But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.